This is a quick training video on Play Live Inspect inside of Control X. So in order to go to Play Live Inspect, the first qualification is you need to create an inspection on a CAD model like I have here. So if you load up an object and create measurements on top of that object, you see that they have no values associated with them. You need to create these ahead of time. And then once you have them, you can run Play Live Inspect. Before I do so, though, I always like to point out that in case you need to change any settings, you can come into the settings dialog and there's a bunch of view settings, probing settings, if you need to change your scan data, inspection values, uh, geometry, uh, fitting deviation tolerances, uh, the devices settings that you're currently connected to and you have selected in the drop down over there. And then you can change some of your button options around depending on the device. Um, so if you need to change your device, you can do so from this drop down um, and then you can hit connect device. And another thing, you do have the ability to assign a probe sequence if you want to. So if you come in here, you can say, I want to probe this first, this second, this third, this fourth, if you want to. And it will then walk you through those. So that's another option if you need it. Um, for today, I'm going to show hitting play live inspect planar face and what it will first do is direct you to perform the alignment and now in order to do the alignment it's going to direct you to probe the features that created that alignment so this is what i selected to create that alignment a flatness as you hear planar there face not only did it create that plane, but I assigned a flatness call out to that same face. So it's calculating both the flatness of that plane for me and it's going to calculate the uh, alignment here once I get finished. Planar face. Now, once I'm finished, all I geometries hit the back measured. Button. It's going to tell me that all geometries are measured. Um, you do have the ability to touch off on the part in this mode here and just get a verification. And you can put the probe near zero and see the values go up or down in the different directions here. So this is kind of like a verification mode just to make sure that it is aligned. Now, if I hit the back button again, uh, I can use the device as a mouse and I could retry the alignment if I did not, if I made a mistake. And then I could also hit next to create the probes for the rest of the features on the part. So as I look at this part, you'll see that it has a green arrow suggesting that I probe that plane. But you can see here, I don't have to probe it. Spherical faint. I can probe that one instead first. Now, of course, Spherical it's good to follow all probing uh, guidelines as far as probing um, from uh, surrounding the entire area. For example, on this uh, cylinder, cylindrical fan. If I probe all my points on just one side of the cylinder. Obviously, that would be a bad idea. Now, you see here, if I made a mistake, I slipped off. If I hold the back button, it will remove the last point. You see there, I did two points there. A radial. And you see, I got to do this sphere. Spherical fan. A radial. Planar appropriate. Planar faith. NA. Planar faith. That's going to tell me here. There is a circle measurement that I made. So if I come down and I put my probe right next to that circle. Cylindrical face. It'll ask me to probe that cylindrical face to create the circle. And the same goes for this one here. 
cylindrical face. A linear. All geometries measured. And if I point the probe at the part, you'll see that it points from the perspective of the probe to look around the part. Obviously, it tells me that I've measured all of the features here. So once I'm done, I can hit back. If I wanted to switch over and scan the part, I could do so. Or I can cycle down to Exit Live Inspect. So there we go. We went ahead and we probed all those features um, on the part. If I needed to reprobe an, uh, an area, so if I made a mistake on this side, I can select that face and I can hit reprobe. Planar face. All geometries measured. And then I can get out of the reprobe tool. And then it will recalculate everything with my new with my new uh, probed options there. So if I needed to come over here and create a report, I can hit generate report and go ahead and create that report. Another thing is uh, the ability to make add dimensions. As long as I probed the feature on the CAD model, I can come and add di dimensions to it afterwards if I needed to. So for example, if I wanted to add a dimension from this face to that sphere, because those two things are already probed, I can add dimensions and it will create those afterwards. So that's a nice feature. Um, so this is the uh, Play Live Inspect uh, training video.